The thought of going gray can be met with feelings of liberation, confidence, lower maintenance, anxiety, stress, and fear. But going gray doesn't have to be miserable and it doesn't have to mean that you look older or that you let yourself go. There are so many positive things about embracing your gray and I'm going to break down six important tips to know when transitioning from coloring your hair to embracing your gray. Let's go. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Summer, a hairstylist of 16 years and in my 16 years I have had endless conversations with clients about why or when they should embrace their gray and while it usually starts out scary to most clients, not a single one has ever regretted the decision to quit touching up their roots. Going gray can be a very overwhelming process, but the six tips I'm going over today are going to help you get prepared and ready for being your best self. And I wanna hear in the comments if you already have embraced your gray, what is it that you love about it? Do you wish that you did it sooner? Or are you here because you're thinking of doing it? I wanna hear it all, so please, please share. Tip one. Patience is a virtue. Growing out your gray is a commitment and it doesn't happen overnight. And during the process, it's gonna try your patience. There are several different ways to go gray and it all comes down to personal preference and budget. You can opt to either just simply let your gray grow out on its own the old fashioned way and live with the line of demarcation. You can opt to cut your hair shorter than you may prefer to, to help balance out your gray roots to your length. And then there is the route of transition in your color to blend in the gray or match. If your budget allows for a color transition, you will first wanna start by letting your roots grow out at least two to three months so your stylist can see what your gray pattern is. Some people have more silver or white, some are more salt and pepper, so by letting it grow out some before starting the color process, it allows for your stylist to be able to match it as best as possible. Tip two, be prepared to spend some money. If you opt to color your hair to match or blend your gray, you can do this one of two ways. You can opt to break up your color over the course of a few appointments or go the Jack Martin route where you undergo a very long and expensive one day process and leave with matching your colored hair to your gray pattern. If you don't know who Jack Martin is, he is an amazing colorist that has changed the game when it comes to gray transitioning. I will link his Instagram below, but his page is great to check out if you are somebody who's looking to go gray. If you opt to break up your gray over the course of a few appointments, depending on how light or dark your hair is, it can take anywhere from one to four appointments. You have to have your hair as light as possible for the color to take on that gray or white tone. I have a client that is currently in the process of embracing her gray. She started out with a darker red tone and she's slowly been lining it to break through that red to get her hair light enough to start creating that silver gray that she naturally has. If you want to try for it in one appointment, expect to be in the salon anywhere from six to 10 hours, again, depending on how light or dark your hair is. This obviously sounds extreme and it is the most expensive option, but it does get you there the fastest. Once your hair is matched up to your gray via the color route, you will still need just minimal upkeep while your gray continues to grow out, but you will be done in one day's time and able to go about your new gray hair life with less stress and patience. Tip three, expect to feel a change in your texture. Gray hair is naturally more coarse than pigmented hair because it's usually thicker in diameter, which contributes to more of a coarse feel. With the loss of pigment, our hair follicles no longer produce as much sebum, which is an oil our bodies naturally create that helps to hydrate our hair. So naturally the loss of that is going to result in a more coarse, dry, brittle feeling. Coloring does help soften the hair. So when you stop that process, you're gonna be able to feel a bit of a difference in your hair. I suggest doing an intense moisture mask once a week or twice a month, depending on how often you wash your hair and using a very hydrating leave-in conditioner as well as an oil throughout your week to help soften your strands. I will link below some great options. And if you have a favorite moisture mask, leave-in conditioner, or an oil that has made a difference in your gray hair, let us know in the comments. Don't keep it a secret. I love hearing from you guys on what your favorite products are and what works best for you. And we're here to share here on this channel. So it's great for people to be able to see some options in the comments. Tip four, adjusting your makeup and clothes. 
This is something to think about when changing your hair color in general, but it's especially important when switching to gray. Gray hair is extremely cool and ashy in tone compared to any other color. So your skin tone might appear different with gray hair versus what it looked like with your blonde or brown hair. Certain shades of makeup or clothing colors might not work the same as they did with your previous color. I love seeing bright colors like blues, pinks, or purples with gray hair. The contrast of the gray and the bright color makes such a fun pop to your look. Typically, I don't love a neutral with gray hair. I feel like one starts to look a little washed out, but if you love a beige or cream and you feel confident wearing it with your gray hair, rock it all day long because confidence is the most important thing here and that's gonna show above anything else. Needless to say, when deciding to go gray, don't let the fear of will gray look good on my skin tone or wondering if your wardrobe will work stay with you. That's what shopping and us YouTubers are for to help give you guys ideas for when you want to embrace this change. So go through your closet, see what works for you or doesn't work. Take yourself on a shopping trip, visit your local Sephora or Ulta for your makeup needs. Think of it as a new and exciting chapter in your life rather than focusing on the stress and fear. I'm going to link a playlist from Nicole Johnson. That's all about makeup for gray hair. And then you can just go down the rabbit hole of her channel. She's so stunning and beautiful and she is such great tips for embracing your gray. Tip five, use the right products. Once you have embraced your gray, you might feel like your hair routine is gonna be super easy and low maintenance. And while you no longer have the four to six week root touch-up appointments, gray hair still does require some good TLC. Gray hair is more susceptible to discoloration. I'm sure you've all seen someone with yellow tones in their gray or white hair, or you have them yourself. This can be caused from minerals found in water, heat exposures from hot tools, air pollution, oftentimes medications can even play a role in the yellowing, but with proper care and products, this can be managed and dealt with. Using a clarifying shampoo in your wash routine will help remove and prevent the buildup that can cause the yellow to show in your hair. The key with a clarifying shampoo is finding one that fits your hair type. With your gray hair, you don't want anything that is extremely harsh and some clarifying shampoos really just take out all the moisture out of your hair. And while I feel like saying a gentle clarifying shampoo is counterproductive, some are more harsh than others. We don't need your hair so clean that it's literally squeaking. Trust me, you do not want that. I like Olaplex 4C. It gets the job done without being too harsh. And Kristen S is another great option at a lower price point. You also want to use a purple based toning shampoo. This is going to counteract that yellow as purple is opposite on the color wheel and it will help to brighten your gray strands and add some shine as well. These are not to be used every single wash though. That is a sure way to dry out your hair. When you do use them, I like to lightly towel dry and then apply the shampoo, work it into your hair and let it sit the suggested time frame if there is one. I like using on clients the Olaplex 4P and actually this one among my client base was probably a fan favorite. I started using it because so many of them were like, it's great. Have you used it yet, Summer? And I was like, oh, look at me. I'm late to the game. Do make sure you are using a heat protectant when using your hot tools, especially with a flat or curling iron. This is going to create a barrier so the heat of the tool is not as harsh on your hair and it will help prevent more of that yellowing we don't want. Our sixth and final tip, which is the most important, is to be confident. Confidence is key. And while it can be scary or stressful to embrace your gray, like I said at the beginning of this video, I've never had a client regret it. These women have always felt so free and empowered, and I feel like their confidence went up. I often feel like at times, women will choose to color or highlight their hair because society tells you you're gonna look older or that you're too young to go gray. And deep down, you might not wanna keep coloring your hair. It's something else to add to your monthly routine. It's another expense, it's time out of your day. And when you finally do go gray, something that you wanted to do if that's the case and you're happy with it your confidence is going to shine through and that's what people are going to look at you and see they're going to see your beauty because you feel confident in the decision you made for yourself i've never looked at a confident woman and thought she looked bad maybe her style isn't my style 
Maybe I would never wear my hair that way, but I see her confidence. I respect it and it's beautiful. And that to me is what is important at the end of the day, your own value and self-worth and how you feel and see yourself. So if you're thinking of going gray, go for it. I hope these six tips help prepare you and encourage you. You can find all the products mentioned as well as Nicole Johnson and Jack Martin's info linked in the description and pinned comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to hear what your favorite products are. And please tell me if you're going gray, if you're thinking about it or you've done it, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.